Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 6th. 2019 happy new year uh we had kind of a really nutty what we humans would think of as a nutty message from last week and uh <laughs> we're going to tune in for this week as well so there is this feeling of rumblings so literally seeing people hanging on and trying not to fall i think this is more metaphorical than in reality right mm. i mean the earth is going through a lot of changes it's going through cycles and so that could mean shifting, uh, shifting plates and shifting, you know, having earthquakes and things like that. But the volcanoes too. There's that whole thing under Yellowstone Park. Is that a volcano? Not that anything's going to happen this week, but maybe there's some. I don't. I don't know why that came up. There's like something around that. I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> but really, this is like everyone is starting to feel a little woozy, okay? A little, I think they're going to call it like an epidemic of the flu maybe or, you know, try to make it some really horrible thing. And I'm not a doctor. If people are getting sick, my goodness, go and get help. But um this really is just uh, what we used to call ascension symptoms. I don't think we have a new name for it exactly, but, <laughs> but you know, it is your body shifting and coming into a different frequency. So do not be surprised. Yeah. in this week, if things are changing like this, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to move to a new city. Oh my gosh, I'm in a new house. Oh my gosh. You know, like, and I don't even know how that happened. Like, how did I even manage to do that? Um, because we can't waste time anymore right? So time isn't linear, but uh, the way we're experiencing things right now, um, there needs to be this, this turn. Now we have said that it's going to be a slow turn, but you're going to see, uh, probably one little thing in your life or something kind of go, boop, you know, and <laughs> it's just trying to reset your direction to get you in alignment with what's happening. Now, if you thought last week's video was nuts, let me, let me just remind you of something years ago, <coughs> excuse me, if somebody had said, it's, uh, you know, well, it's Berenstein Bears. Of course it is. And maybe it was, maybe it was on the books, but you say, no, 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 no. In the future, it's Berenstein. What? Well, that, that, that's crazy. Mandela effect. What? Like that's nutty. People were talking about that back in the day. We weren't experiencing those moments. I have heard people talking about uh, having deja vu feeling like they're dreaming of themselves, but themselves looking completely different. Um, I've had dreams where there was an aspect of myself that I met and I felt so whole and complete when I encountered this person, right? Which was an aspect of me. So this is us kind of, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> I hate to put it this way, but like reformulating, right? Like we're kind of reformulating our, our I hate, I hate saying energy over and over and over, but what can I say? Uh, there's no other word for it. Energy, right? We're reformulating our existence. We're reformulating our approach. Um, things, things are changing. Things are changing. And again, we didn't have talks of, well, there was always time traveler talks. There was always, um, you know, something that was out there that is kind of like the unknown. Uh, but now we're seeing, oh, that, that wasn't so crazy after all <laughs> kind of thing. So there could be, I don't know, if you're really pulling as a human with your ego consciousness, give me proof, give me proof. Okay, fine. So there might be something, let's say in the news where something comes about. I'm thinking of an animal. Those animals that they don't know what they are. What the heck is this? <laughs> They're not of this dimension. There, there's actually, actually they're saying that it'll start with animals. Animals will start dropping in from other dimensions and they don't make the trip. Now, I know that that's going to make a lot of you very, very sad, but not, they, they are not acclimated to this atmosphere. So this is uh, something where, you know, a hunter or somebody might find an animal. I'm just making up an example here. Uh, it's already deceased and we don't know what it is because we're not used to it right? Or you've seen where 
people come out of nowhere or, <laughs> right? It, I think a lot of people are gonna start going, oh my gosh, it's like suddenly everything feels haunted. It's not haunted. You're gonna feel like a little bit of a crowded house, some of you, not everybody, because some people are gonna completely closed off from this. We talked about them. Um, we've done our work. There's nothing else we can do to try to get them to come along. And they don't have to. They don't have to. They really don't. Um, they're going to get in the way eventually because they're pulling, because they're a part of us, right? So that's that skeptical part that <laughs> is manifesting in a whole other human being that's not going to want to come along for the ride. So whatever. I mean, that's not something that we need to worry about right now. And the other message here too is that there are things that are so beyond the human uh, ability to understand that we really need to let go of trying to figure everything out and find the truth, find the truth. The truth is finding you. You don't need to go seeking it. It's coming to you. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's not even coming to you. It's awakening within you, right? So little by little, there'll be more and more of an understanding. Even as I sit here, I'm excited. I got jazzed because I've always known that we were existing in different dimensions. <laughs> I may have allowed myself to be clouded by what other people's perceptions were about that. Um, but I would, I would, I astral travel a lot. Again, if that sounds weird to you, this might not be the content for you. <laughs> Hi, you could stay. I would love to have you here, but please don't be hateful. Uh, we don't, we don't do hate here. Uh, but yeah, I've always like, what was that one movie? Is it actually the time traveler's wife? Is is that what it is? That hit so close to home. I was like, well, the, it's a little cheesy the way they put it, but <laughs> it felt very possible, very possible. And um, again, I don't think it's going to be exactly how we humans always think of it, but we're getting some knowledge here and we're getting pieces of ourselves back. However that looks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't have to worry about how, how, it, how it plays out, right? It's just, it's going to happen. And uh, if you allow it. Now, if you were somebody who, <laughs> I, I don't know that you would call yourself a sociopath or something like that. But if you're somebody who's along that frequency, I, th those are the people that are going to be driven to madness. And they, or they feel like they're being haunted. Yes. Uh, because they're the self is trying to integrate and bring aspects of itself back, but it's not, they're not, al they're not allowing it. They're not letting it. Uh, if you are of that mindset and you have some awareness around that, like, let's say you, you go, you know what? I know I don't have empathy. I know I don't. Just for funsies, maybe, <laughs> Maybe set the intention to have empathy, just to, just to see what it's like. Not the pretend kind, not the kind where you mimic somebody else's empathy, but where you really feel it. If that feels scary to you, remember, I'm not a psychologist, okay? I'm not here to diagnose anybody, um, but you always have your spiritual team and you can ask for help and maybe you will be guided to a therapist or maybe you will be guided to um, some deeper understanding, okay? So there's that. Anything else, guys? Just hold on. Just hold on. Please, I can't say this enough. Please don't look for the drama. Don't look for the drama, okay? That's not what's happening. If you're out looking like this, you're missing what's happening in here. And this is what we're working on, <laughs> okay? You will we'll see, I was about to say you, but I'm here too, hi. Uh, so we will be seeing, like I said, a lot of earth changes. Um, it's, it's a lot of what we've seen already. It's fire, it's water, it's um, shaking earth. Like I said, volcanoes, you know, those kinds of things. It doesn't mean that this week all of it's coming down. We, we're just going to have news of it. We're going to have um, potentials. Yeah. It, well, watch watch for some of these. I got fuzzies everywhere. Um, <laughs> sweaters. It's sweater season. What can you do, you know? But we're going to have all of these... Uh, you know, physicists, I think, coming forward and just going like, yeah, they're going to have their scientific explanations for it. But there are going to be a lot of things coming up that nobody can really explain because it's beyond our realm of understanding. So, uh, but that's going to change. We're going to start opening uh, 
it's it's in our bodies. Like these brains have kind of been the game controller for the longest time, and now we're going to see the whole system. And uh, again, slowly, it doesn't necessarily. It's just something's kicking off this week. Remember, the initial message was just to hang on. <laughs> okay, so let's get to some cards here. Let's see how we can prep ourselves for a whole new way. And don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Even if this doesn't happen within my lifetime, don't y'all be looking back at me like that crazy girl. Remember her? Telling people <laughs> other parts of themselves are coming together. She knew nothing. I bet that's not the case. I'm pretty good at what I do. Thank you and good night. Okay. In one way or another, it's coming about. I think that's good about right there. First card out, the prophet. You better stop, okay? <laughs> the prophet. The message has landed, okay? Uh, well, this is almost making me feel like this is there's prophecies about whatever is about to come. Now, I'm not well-versed in that. I do love me some prophecies, <laughs> but I haven't looked up whatever would be happening for 2020. So if you happen to know, please don't just make something up, okay? Please, let's be grounded. Let's, every contribution that we make, let it be positive and for the greater good of everyone, all right? And the stuff where we're just making stuff up to seem special or to seem like an expert or trying to diminish other people, you're not helping, okay? You're, you're bringing down the curve a little bit here. So the prophet, one, the message that has come through, I feel like that's a little bit of validation because it sounds very doubtful. I'm feeling a little doubtful too. I'm excited about it, but <laughs> I'm kind of like, but what if it doesn't happen? Because that's so human of us. But there's a, it's been prof prophesized. Is that the word? <laughs> uh, there's a prophecy. If you know it, let me know. In like understandable terms. Yes. The comment section is not for and these and now and though, and though, and though you know, just going on and on. Just, you know, okay. Anyway. Look at what we have next. The messenger. The information is coming. There is no more delay. We are oops, getting what we need. So listen to, why won't you focus? Excuse me. Excuse me, Lens. Girl, I paid enough for you, Lens. You better work. <laughs> Come on. What's the deal? Thank you. All right. So the messenger, <laughs> this is, I feel like messages, maybe from angels, depending on who you communicate with. Um, but definitely the messengers are here or they're coming. They're coming. It's like the prophet and the messenger. I mean, oh my gosh. I want more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Serendipity. <gasps> oh, you guys. It's going to feel like a very magical time. But if you are in a space where you're like, oh, I can't allow myself to believe these things because everyone else will think I'm so stupid. All those intellectual people, because again, culturally speaking, we always train each other and kind of browbeat each other to be more intellectual. I remember I was working in a corporation and uh, <laughs> I'm a sensitive soul and I'm very in my feelings, right? Like I'm just, that's, I'm a water sign. What you want? You know, like I'm just in my feels, right? So I would go in and I was never like, you guys might disagree, but like really, cause you're a chatterbox here. But, um, at work, I was never a chatterbox. I, you know, I would answer people's questions and things like that, but I was always interested more in fellow human beings. And so that was kind of where I was coming from. And there was this pressure to not feel anything ever, to never be upset, to never feel overwhelmed, to, to just it's like, just make, be a robot, be a robot. Don't, don't come with your ideas. I think that was just specific to me. <laughs> um, yeah. So being more concrete, be logical because logical is good. Says who? Fight me. Don't really fight me. I don't want to fight. But <laughs> but why? We're going to start realizing that we have allowed ourselves, especially if you are a sensitive soul and you're coming from a very empathetic place, if people have really tried to denounce that in you, this is your source of power. Remember, they're trying to take your power away. So 
and, and some, a lot of people have just fallen for it and just gone, I'm good because I'm super professional. I just got a correspondence from a customer service person and <laughs> from a professional standpoint, it was worded perfectly. But if you added any bit of heart or feelings into it, this person was straight up diminishing and rude. Oh my God, you can't take things so personally. Oh my God. Wow, you're going to have a bad time coming up because it's not your time anymore. We're going to realize that having things so stuffed up in the intellect has really led us astray. The serendipity means that things are opening up for us and things are not going to be what they seem. Uh, quite unexpected things coming about. Uh I know, I want to go back because I think, what was it, last week? We were talking about other aspects of ourselves coming together. People are really big on this whole twin flame thing where I've never been, I mean, I, I would use that language if somebody came to me and that's what they were comfortable with and that's what they could relate to, fine. If that's your belief system, awesome. Uh, but you're not just split in two. That was my whole problem with it. I'm like, girl. You have any idea how split up you are? <laughs> like how big your soul is? Well, no, it's in this lifetime. We blew, we just kind of bloop down into two different, but why? We don't have to get into that conversation. I'm just confused. Um, and you're not going to convince me other way. So, all right, <laughs> save the twin flame talk for someone else. Okay, your twin flame. Go talk to your twin flame. Fine. But this is that idea that, you know, there are other aspects of ourselves uh, that, are having other experiences. And one of my biggest problems with that whole twin flame concept was what I saw it was doing to people. And I also got messages that that was not accurate. And I hang on to what I get, okay? And I'm not gonna let anybody else because they wanna hang on to a story or because they've created a whole career around this to come and diminish me because, you know, obviously. Um, but anyway, <laughs> This is like this opening up and understanding that you've always been whole and complete in and of yourself. You didn't need to uh, lean on someone else to come in and complete you or your existence wasn't any harder than anybody else's necessarily because that's another big one. Oh, I'm such a victim because I'm only half a soul. Like maybe it's just the people I've come across. Maybe it's not everybody, but uh, yeah, it's been very few people that I've come across who've actually been healthy minded about that. There are big messages coming through. Be open to the possibilities. Be open to experience things. Could be interesting. Then we have decision. Are you going to stay or are you going to go? And this has nothing to do with your surface level story. So stop it. Okay. <laughs> this is like, I have to make this decision to hang on to the old version of me or move into the new. And you can see this is very emotional. The water, the teardrop, the moon. The moon is the heart. It's all about the emotions and how you feel about things. So, and you can see that the ocean kind of is rocking back and forth there too. Do you see? Oh, I'm going to be out of the light if I go too close. But um, yeah, I mean, you're going to maybe not know what to make of things and maybe not <sighs> being scared to trust. Okay. They're using cults as an example. And when this starts to happen, people being afraid that they're going to get brainwashed, that they're going to get sucked into something that ends up being really detrimental. <sighs> of course, you always want to exercise caution. And they're saying it's not, it's not even anything like that. It's not like you have to go join a group and all wear the same clothes and eat all the same food. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you're doing. You're not going to a compound. All right. You're just living your life still having human experiences, which means you're having relationships. Maybe you're exploring your sexuality and that is 100% okay. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Healthy sexual expression, <laughs> it's a part of what keeps that creative life force going. So people who want to suppress that also want to suppress your creative life force. They don't want you creating your own existence, okay? So this is another kind of thing, but really on the surface, you're still... Uh, just being human, right? You're still doing your thing, um, but you're having, some of you are going to be a little more adventurous. <laughs> I was just talking about sex and being like adventurous. No, we're talking like maybe you try other new things, right? So you're um, taking on a broader perspective. Yes, 
and how you see yourself. So it's not going to be overt. I think it's going to be a lot of subtle changes that have big impact. Okay. How many cards do we get? We have four. All right. So color card time. Or do we want the crystals? Let's have one of each. Let's get crazy. Oh, you, what's with me not being able to hold things? <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. I think after this, I have to go make myself some dinner because my stomach is rumbling. Don't need that for the video. All right. I'm going to be very curious to see the responses of these videos once I put them up. Clear quartz purification. Hey. All right. So <laughs> we're purifying. And that's really why all this is going down. It's like, okay, game over, kids. You've had enough time to figure this out. And it's not like humanity is being wiped away. It's just help is on the way. Um, you know, think of like tutors coming. <laughs> right? The tutors are going to come on in and help us have a clear understanding. But this is also... Um, purifying your experiences. So what does that mean? For some of you, this could, I just heard reversal. The quantum aspects. So we have an understanding of the quantum aspects and we realize we can reverse what's happened. So there was things that happened. Um, it's just, you've heard this before. It's nothing new, but it's uh, just like being in a dream. You ever dream that, like, well, actually, I just had, speaking of train dreams, um, I can't remember if I said it in this video or the last one, last week's, but uh, I dreamt that I was on a subway in New York. And I lived in New York for a good portion of my adult life, and I hated the subway. Hated it, it, it mostly because it just feels dirty. And I literally, this is just an aside, I literally saw a rat running around and one, oh, you better stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a dream that I was in a subway car and it was really, really dirty and I felt trapped. I felt trapped underground. I felt like um, like I, I, I couldn't escape. Okay, so if you start to have dreams like that, you'll understand what we're talking about, number one, about having those dreams. But as far as the whole thing, that the, the whole concept of what's happening, it's like we wake up from this nasty dream that we thought this is reality, you know, this is it, this is how things are. You wake up and you go, no, it's not. No, it's not. It was something that was feeding off of us and feeding off of our fears. Um, and you were aware of it. You could feel it. That tingle that went up your spine when something creepy would happen. Or when you would scream or cry or whatever. That's And you felt like something was draining from you. It was. <sighs> Help is on the way. Is what they're saying. Help is on the way. I promised you a color card. Let's do it. And again, if you think this is crazy, look at my face. You think I'm kidding? You can still sit there and say I'm crazy all you want. It doesn't make you right. Okay? You know what? Maybe we'll get to a place where we don't need to be right or wrong. All right. We have Scarlet Attract Success. The number is seven. So what I think this is talking about in the con... Oh, look at all this red again. Hey. Um, <laughs> what this is talking about is finding our way out of this situation. Slowly but surely, there are going to be little things that kind of switch really quickly. But um, this isn't about success in the weird human way that we have always, you know, basically bullied people into doing. I think what the Attract Success card is really trying to say is that we don't have to keep struggling. The time is done. Uh, and like the decision card, there's going to be a lot of information. There's going to be a lot of people saying, I've got the answer and it's over here. And then this person is going to say something. You're going to feel like your emotions are flowing this way. Uh, there will also be an attempt to keep you asleep, to keep you in the dream. All right. You have a decision to make. Your success is available to you <laughs> if you want 
to, you don't have to listen to everything that I'm saying as like, this is stone cold hard fact and this is 100% how it's going to happen for me as an individual. We're all going to have different experiences, but I just want to bring this message that came through and uh, the cards are really too weird to ignore and uh, just be aware. Just be aware, you know, you know, you don't have to do anything crazy. Just meditating with Metatron, <laughs> right? Um, but get ready for the fighters because the fighters still want you to feel bad so they can feed. So just be careful with that. Recognize it for what it is. All right. It's a weird message, but we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.